Good evening. My name is Matej Zvan. I'm the CTO of Browstel. Browstel is cloud real-time communication platform offering voice, video, chat, and all kinds of communication from within the browser. The today presentation will be how a business collaboration environment can benefit from a web RTC platform. I will give a word now to Damian Slapar. He is the CTO of BC Social, and he will show you how this uh, collaboration environment can benefit out of WebRTC. Uh, thanks, Matej. Uh, hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Damian. I'm a CTO at uh, BC Social. And um, BC Social is, uh, as introduced briefly, a enterprise social collaboration platform. Uh, we like to see each other uh, as a fourth office, basically the first three being working in physical office, working from home uh, with the mobile uh, generation, wo working from Starbucks, for example, and the fourth office being BC Social, where you have your office on the go wherever you are. On top of that, we also um, talk about um, breaking or breaching the silos and bringing all the or many of the cloud uh, uh, solutions that you use nowadays, being Dropbox, Evernote, uh, Twitter, everything into one place, and that is. Uh, our social collaboration platform. Uh, I could talk about BC Social the whole day here, but uh, let me just uh, um, <coughs> introduce um, how we integrated with Browstel, which brings WebRTC uh, platform or solution into our so software collaboration platform. I'm going to walk you through a couple of uh, basically real life example of uh, how working with BC Social looks like. So. Uh, the first example would be when I log in early in the morning into a social collaboration platform uh, like this. This is BC Social Live now. Uh, there on top of my feed, uh, there is a message from Linda, uh, which is our, which is our um, uh, head of accounting. And she's writing to me that, um, well, they made a mistake and they've uh, basically uh, doubled the amount uh, re refund to my uh, to my account uh, due to the latest uh, business trip. Well, I checked my account. And there are no funds, so they, are made, so they made two uh, mistakes. And now what I could do is just briefly, you know, um, write a reply here. But on top of that, uh, I could also just call her because I think this is a very important matter. And this is where Browstel comes in. Uh, when I hover on any of the name in our social collaboration platform, a, a unified communication panel comes in, and I have couple of options here. I can either chat, uh, and I have some other like video calls, normal voice, WebRTC, voice over IP call, or the one that I'm going to choose now, uh, which is a dual dial call. So what I'm going to do is, Linda is out of the office until uh, 23rd of this month, so she's not online. I can't do WebRTC call. What I can do is I can just start a call from the platform itself. Uh, if I click on this button, it's going to start a dual call here. My phone's going to ring, and Linda's phone's going to ring. Uh, so my phone is start, started to ring now. Uh, hopefully, you can hear it. And at the same time, Linda's phone started to ring. Well, this is my Linda for the demo, uh, unfortunately. Uh, and uh, now we can start a call. So we are calling yes, now, okay. and we can hear each other, and we can discuss the matter. Uh, so there are a couple of obvious options. What options? Why would you do something like that? First of all, not everybody, as we've heard over the past days, um, not all the browser technology prevents everybody to use WebRTC. Not everybody is all online all the time. Uh, of course, I don't need to leave the platform. I can just. Uh, I don't need to have Linda's phone number. I can just start a call from here. But that, but there are some not so obvious ones. For example, sometimes maybe not in this case, but sometimes you would like to save the recording uh, that you created and uh, play it later on or even share it with your coworkers. One of the things that we can do in BC Social is we can have here on the left side, you can see some workspaces and we can run projects or implementations here. If I go into the fourth office implementation, I can get to the fourth office feed where I have some team members here on the right side. On top of that, uh, I can switch to a task mode view where I can set tasks. There are some personal tasks to this project. And I can see there's one outstanding task here. Uh, when do we plan to close this? And uh, Nick Thompson has this task. 
Uh, one of the things that I can do is currently there are no importance set or no stages set, but I can quickly drag and drop uh, between uh, the, the stages here. And I'm going to just uh, quickly take a look at what, what this is all about. And I can see that this is a document here that I can browse through. And that this is part of the fourth office implementation. And uh, Nick Thompson is. Uh, the project manager of this. And I'm going to give uh, Nick Thompson a call here, and uh, I will just use a voice over IP because he's a uh, web artist call because he's online. Uh, let's just go on with the call. Nick is in London right now. Uh, it's pretty late there, so hopefully we don't uh, wake him up. Hello? Uh, hi, Chief. This is Damian. Uh, how are you doing? How's London? Yeah, it's very good. It's raining as usual. Um, um, we are in front of the live, live studio audience right now, but on a side note, I would just like to check with you what's the latest on the fourth office implementation. Yeah, uh, it's been a great week. Uh, the operations and technical work streams are, are all signed off, um, but we need to get James to sign off the statement of work for sales because they're behind schedule. Are you able to get in touch with them? Uh, yeah, I'll uh, set myself a reminder and I'll call them as quickly as possible. Uh, thank you, Nick, and goodbye to London. Thank you. So I'm going to now break off this call. And one of the things that now uh, the uh, application asks me here is whether I can, would like to save the application uh, conversation. When I do that, and if I go back uh, in the application here, you will be able to see that uh, this conversation with us has been immediately saved to a feed in my, in my application in BC Social. And I can play it back, of course. So if I play back this, Hello? Uh, uh, you will hear uh, just the conversation we had a couple uh, of seconds ago. That's very good. It's raining as usual. What, what I can do now with this is I can, first of all, I'm just going to share it with the project team so everybody uh, will uh, know what we talked about. Um, and on top of that, I will also set myself a reminder or a personal task. I'll say, uh, please call the client. Um, this will remind me in my tasks view that I need to do something with this. So please call the client. I'm going to do this later. And if I go into the fourth office implementation, you will be able to see that there's a task there. Uh, please call the client. And on top of that, everybody can see this on their feet. Uh, in addition to that, of course, this was just a voice call now. Uh, but we can do the same with uh, video calls. So this is just, a, if I browse down here a little bit, this is just a video call that we can do as well. I can uh, play it back. Uh, and forth, and I can see how it looks like. Yeah, the same as with uh, voice calls, I can do is again share it to the another project or another customer here. Um, for example, I'm going to just share it with John Lewis, a customer, because we also support a little bit of a CRM functionality, and I can set a tasks and comments against that uh, as well. Um, so these are three use cases uh, how we. RTC does bring uh, real business value to it with um, online collaboration. Uh, and on that note, back to you, Matei. OK. So what we did actually uh, is we put the communication back to people. So in our case, there is no communication between a phone and a phone, but between me, you, your, our families, or coworkers. So when you initiate a call, you initiate a request. Like, for instance, in SIP, you said, OK, the session description, I have a video, audio, and something like that. Uh, in our case, you initiate the request, and the, our softwares will define what is the best way to initiate a call. So there is no need to think, OK, he's on mobile phone, he's on. Uh, uh, on a fixed phone or his own browse tail account. So everything is hidden. And at the same time, you can also invite other coworkers by simply sending the HTML URL links so other people can work as well on these projects. And uh, 
in the future we see this as a huge opportunity how to uh, how to focus all the collaborations into one single unified communication room thank you thank you